Welcome back to Garage K. It's Dirty Magazine Day. And it looks like it's going to have to be modified straight out of the packet. But what's unusual about that? What are we reading today? K-Style. So I recorded that intro three hours ago. Um, I was just going to angle the camera down, had my lights all set up, and um, record it. But no, uh, the lighting setup is wrong. I was getting um, glare on the magazine, reflections, just horrible. So I had to completely reinvent the wheel. Um, I mean, you can see I've got a light up there. I've got a light over there. Um, it's probably still a little bit of bleed. Yeah, oh, yeah, yep, you can see. I can see on, uh, where is it? If I do, oh, there it is. See that? So we've got, we've got bleeding. I've been, three hours I've been on lighting. I just can't even get to the magazine. So, but I have to film this because if I try and do this during the day, um, there's windows here and that will mess it up even more probably. So um, I'm not very enthusiastic about um, this right now. Hopefully once I open the magazine, I'll feel better, but uh, what a nightmare. Um, the magazine reading was supposed to be content. It was supposed to be uh, just flip through a magazine together, but it has become more time consuming. The setup to film this magazine um, is more time consuming than anything I've ever done, um, which is very disappointing. The biggest issue with this is how narrow this table is, the, or desk. This desk is not that deep. Well, how deep is it? Here's a tape measure. This desk is 45 centimeters deep. What does that, why is that a bad thing? Well, I have to have the lights behind me far enough away on an angle so that the, the glossy magazine doesn't catch the light and reflect it up into the camera lens. Um, now, the problem with that is they're behind me. So when I lean forward, I'll get a shadow on the magazine. If they were far enough in front, that um, that they they didn't on on the correct angles that they didn't light up the glossy pages then um, we'd be fine but the camera mount is so perfect and in the perfect location that I want to use it because I've tried tripods and I can't get that to work um, so whilst this camera mount is perfect its location is not. So what I might have to do is have a flat bar with the camera on it. Basically what I made for the camera mount, only it attaches to a tripod so it can sit out further than the legs of the tripod and just have a weight on the other end so that it doesn't hang weird. Maybe that's what I need to do. Um, and then film somewhere else because this is not this is not working really. A magazine would have to be one of the the worst things to film, especially this particular magazine that I'm doing today, the K Style one. It is the glossiest thing I've ever seen. It's it's all gloss papered photos. The magazines that I'm trying to film aren't even this glossy, but you know I want it perfect, so I can't. I'm just because I want it perfect, I'm ending up with nothing. It's like, it's almost 1am um, and I haven't filmed this yet because at 9 o'clock when I started this, I assumed my lighting was still okay and it wasn't. Anyway, let's try and film this before the sun comes up. Nope, that didn't work either. I was working on that until 2 a.m. 
2.30 I gave up and went to bed. I am filming handheld on the uh, GoPro 8 at the moment. The 7's on the table here. I was going to show you the lengths that I went to to make the video because the video is too long to have this long intro on it as well, I figured. So I'll upload this video and then whenever the uh, magazine video is done, I will just upload it. Uh, normally the magazine will be uh, on Mondays, uh, so but in this case, because I couldn't have it done on Monday, um, as soon as it's done I'll upload it, at whatever time that is. So let's have a look. <coughs> Got a frog in my throat, might be Corona. Wouldn't mind a beer actually, might do that after this, go get some beers. Um, so we're going to talk about the lengths that I went through to film the uh, the magazine. So let's spin this around. So <coughs> originally I was using these. These are LED lights. Um, I had to modify it because I couldn't get it to sit uh, against the wall. Um, how can I explain it? So I had it against the wall like this and then I had this here like this um, and the cord was in the way. So I had to... Oh dear, that wasn't a very good noise, was it? Oh, that's horrible. Um, so I had to move it around the corner so that it would sit flush. And these were pressed up against the wall with this panel. So these were in here, in behind here. Uh, now, they produced a lot of light, uh, but it didn't really work. It doesn't really matter what I was using. What am I using now? I moved away from this light this morning and I got a... Can we film it? Yes, we can. Down in there, there is one single... single uh, fluorescent light. Here I have a fluorescent tube. It's on this... Uh, what would you call this? The mounting hardware, the apparatus required to light the fluorescent tube. I don't know what you want to call it. It's supposed to be plugged into mains power, but I put it on a uh, regular extension cord and can plug it in. So I push this all the way against the wall, as far back as it'll go. And then this piece of plastic is stapled and zip tied. Zip tied to the underside of the uh, camera mount. I'll get to this later. Um, piece of wood there. It's just a piece of plastic that uh, came from the 100 yen shop. It's the right size to give this curve. Now if you do it like that, the light directly from here just goes straight onto the magazine. So that doesn't work. You have to have this in front, like so. Now the light will come up here and will still bleed down. So the idea would be to make this wall higher, but if you do that, then the magazine is too dark. So I actually need this piece of paper. Well, thin, it's very thin cardboard. Now if you put that in there, light can still pass through the, the thin cardboard. So it's not a block, it's just a thicker diffuser. And this is the best I could do. Above here I have this piece of foam board. I don't know if that's helping or not, but I believe it is. So I'm just going to leave it there. It's not in the way or, or anything up there, so it just stays there. And this is what we get. Turn the switch on. There we go. So that's what we end up with. I ended up filming this today in the daylight. And the way I did that is I actually made curtains. I've got this bar here that's got, uh, it's got a spring in here so you can pull this and adjust it to fit. I got some, I found some uh, material that I've been saving for I don't even know what in, uh, in a box in the spare room. It's still got this. I got the sewing machine out and just sewed a loop into it so that I can pull that closed. It's uh, pinched at the end so that it doesn't pull too far and so that I don't get any light coming through here. Same on the other side. 
I didn't have two pieces uh, of material the same color, so I have half blue, half black. Um, and they do a really good job of blocking out the light from this window. So that combined with this, um, that's twisted. It's got a twist in it. Now the mount. I used to have, when I made the camera mount video, I was using this. But this is kind of overkill. I don't need that much adjustment. I only need up and down. I don't need to go left and right. There's no, it's just not necessary. So, I happen to have this. I'm trying to avoid going out because of Corona. Now this is the opposite of, uh, of what it should be. Normally these have three, right? Like this. But uh, this doesn't have a thread, so I'd have to go and get the correct thread and put a wing nut or whatever on it to hold it. Instead, I just used this opposite side and then wing nutted that on. I had to file this down to get it flat so that the camera now sits perfectly flush with this and points perfectly straight out. So, then I'll get to this in a second. So as you can see, it fits, and then it fits perfectly flush to film me. So I can still film me, and I can film down for the magazine. Now what's going on with this? Your GoPro looks different. Well, I bought this Ulanzi case because it has the, uh, well, for those that don't know, the GoPro doesn't have a 3.5, doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter jack, so you can't run uh, lapel microphones or any microphone off a regular GoPro. GoPro's solution to this was to make this little thing. It's a box. Can't get it out. This is an official GoPro product. They cost about 60 bucks, and it's got um, a USB-C port and a uh, 3.5 mil mic jack. Now this has to plug in here. Now if you don't have the Ulanzi case you've just got this thing hanging around all over the place, right? So this allows you to slide that in there, loop this over and then plug it in. So now you can run your mic and it's all in one unit. That is a GoPro fail. It should have had a 3.5 jack in it from the get-go. But then again it's not wouldn't be waterproof. Um, now the f second failure is this. You can't transmit data through this. So you have to undo this to... Well, I have to undo this to use the USB plug to move the files to my computer for editing. Okay. Um, there's that. Now, why is there this horrible shit all over it? Well, I was still getting glare. Before I figured out I needed this piece, I was still getting glare coming off the light. So I tried to make a, uh, like a camera hood out of this foam stuff, and it was just a, a disaster. It didn't work because the camera is has such a wide view, no matter how like narrow I cut the hood you could always see it so in the end it, it just didn't work but I ended up with it looking like crap I can sand it back and repaint it if I care but um, I mean no one aside from you guys will ever know that is that this is actually interesting GoPro after after the 7, GoPro decided to make a... The GoPro 8 has a media mod. And we'll film the media mod. Going back to this. If you use this one, this has a captive nut on the end. Right? So when you feed this in... Oh, I can't do it one-handed. When you feed this in, you can just twist, right? But because this doesn't, um, there's no way to hold your GoPro on. So here's what I did. What did you do? Well, this goes in here, like that. I found this. 
This w was a circle, and I grinded, uh, well, I hand actually hand filed this side down so that it fits perfectly up under there, and I can just hold it and tighten it up. So now I have the adjustability that I need, like that. So that's what I did to the camera mount, and that is how I filmed the latest magazine. Patrick, Rick and Morty, mate. This is it. And that is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more, smash the subscribe button. Don't just hit it, smash it. Share the crap out of this so that everybody else can enjoy what you enjoy. Let's all enjoy it together. If you'd like to support this channel, head on over to garagek.com. Their new stickers are there. They've been there since today. They're up. There's like four new ones. Um, and there's more coming. I've got more printed already. I just haven't had time to put them on to the website because I've been trying to record this Monday video of a magazine, which is slowly killing me. Anyway, that is it for this episode. Later.